the Reebok Classics are coming to the end of their life. And we literally sat on Warwick High Street, opposite Warwick Castle, catching some sun. Knocked a candle over or something, so there was a fire. So they've had to gut this room out. But I've got to take this radiator off. I think it will clip in like so. Little gift through the post. Look at this. Yeah, great, great start to the morning. Open the side door and the tools fell over. So you got these loaded in the van and get over there. I'll take you in and show because the Matoila, knife, look, pulling his. You ain't got much air. <laughs> what he ain't got, he's trying to pull out. <laughs> Right, so it's Tuesday morning. Um, I've just been doing some paperwork in the house, catching up on a few invoices and stuff like that that I haven't billed out to customers. Um, you find that a lot sometimes, you've got that much going on. Yes, I've got I've, I've got two whiteboards in my office that I put um, money's owing and stuff like that and invoices that I've got to chase up. But sometimes you just forget and forget and you, you get to a point where you go, right, I need a couple of hours now sit down get all that done get them out so so you know that's sort so i've just been doing that um got to go and do a couple of little jobs today got to go and look at a bathroom for a customer um over to stratford to take a rad off for a builder um because they need it for plastering walls and stuff like that so a few little bits to do today um, and then we'll be predominantly now back on that restoration job because that's shifted along the plasterers are nearly finished so we can get our teeth really into that start getting the rads on start getting the mega flow system in um, the bathroom start to get finished off so we're looking forward to that so we'll, we'll shift on to that soon um and just to catch up on a couple of things that i know a lot of people have been on about yes the chippy weighed me in in the end not dave grill's chippy another chippy that we haven't seen on the channel um yes he come good fair play to him um he come in and weighed me in for the dent on the van fair play to him and the other thing, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, my son, he still hasn't had his little in yet. His, his Mrs. Beth was meant to, it was meant to be last Friday. So where are I today? Tuesday, Wednesday, she's getting induced. So um, the next grandson might be arriving very, very soon, which will be exciting. So if he does, um, I, might, uh, I might get a little reaction off Josh to even get on the channel. Anyway. I'm waffling on now. Let's go and get some bits done. It's nice and sunny. Tuesday morning. Um, let's get to it. So it looks like the Reebok Classics are coming to the end of their life. So I don't wear work boots a lot unless I'm on sites because you know around people's houses trainers are a lot better but uh if people know of a decent sort of comfy pair of trainers that are a bit more hard wearing than you know just normal trainers if you like you know like work side trainers give us a shout drop a comment below so literally just sat outside this job just rung the customer um and the chippy's got the front door key for the for the house he's shot off to get some bits He'll be back in a minute. So we literally sat on Warwick High Street, opposite Warwick Castle, catching some sun. Can't be a bad start, can it? Right, I waited um, 15, 20 minutes for that chippy to come back to let me into that job. Um, he hasn't come back yet, and I've got other little bits to get on with today. So I've got to go off now, get, the, get some other bits done. We'll stick my head back in here on the way past. I'll be passing anyway, so... Uh, it's not a major job, it's just connecting with those American fridges, you know, the, the little 8mm, 10mm water line that goes out the back. So, uh, right, we'll get on to another job that we can get into straight away. Okay, so we're at this job in Stratford for this builder where he wants this radiator taken off. And as you can probably tell, there was a... Let me see. There was a fire. There's a young girl who lives in this house and the top floor knocked a candle over or something, so there was a fire so they've had to gut this room out but i've got to take this radiator off um however one side's got a valve on it <clears throat> and one side hasn't but it is a normal flow and return system so all the whole rest of the house is like it they've just got these one valves on on the one side which is 
something they did years and years ago. I haven't seen it for years, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is drain the top of the sister wax, luckily we're on the top foot, cut two isolation valves in here. Um, I've only got ball of fixes today, so I'll just cut that, stick a couple of ball of fixes on it, and then when I come back next week, because I'm going to repipe, because at the minute the pipes go into the, behind this cavity here, in there, so what I'm going to do is just chuck a couple of ball of fixes on there because it's stainless steel pipe as well. So I can't put a couple of cap ends there, uh, cap ends, but bang a couple of ball of fixes on, whip this off, fill it back up and then come back next week. And because it's on a combi, I'll just take the pressure off it, swap it to two either full bore boiler fixes or two lever valves. And we'll probably, if we're just going to do it, just pipe it direct. Um, and then get a new rad on and then just come straight out the floor with it. So we'll get that done now. We'll go and drop tech the top of the heat system off, drain it down and cut them valves in there. And then we can get the rad off, plaster as a plaster in it at the weekend, reboarding it and plastering it. All right, so we've got the whole hose rigged up onto the boiler in here. So the pressure's just dropping. Once it hits the bottom, we'll go upstairs, open the vent and uh, should be able to just cut them pipes and get them capped off, uh, them baller fixes on. But look, as you can see, this is the hallway rad. It's just a valve that end and nothing that end. So if ever you come to take them off, it's a pain in the ass. So we've got the vent undone here. It's pulling the air out of here. So we'll just drop the top of this system off, luckily. Cut there, bang a couple of baller fixes on. And then next week when we come back, we'll put two full bore ones or we'll just pipe it direct. So we've got a uh, baller fix on that one. So I'll do the same this one. We'll just cut this now. Like I say, I say it's old stainless steel pipe. I think in an early video, a few few months back, I had a job with stainless steel. Stainless steel. I think it was in the, the 60s or the 70s. So again, stainless steel pipe, cut that out. Cut this here. So, I'll just bang a ball of fix on it now and turn it off. And that's that isolated. Then when we come back, say swap them or pipe it direct along the floor up to the rad. Right, so there we go. Both on like that. We'll go now, repressurize the system and uh, we're about done till we pick the rad up. So we get this off, borders will reboard that, skim it over the weekend and then we can get a new rad on it next week and pipe it up. So then we'll just shut this back off, like so. Get my grips in. So, I've got a filling loop here. So, then we'll turn this on, repressurize up to about a bar and a half. There we are, we get to about 1.5 bar. Go and vent the rads on the upper end of the house and we should be all good. Turn the hot water on, make sure that's all right. So just press and hold the reset button in, stop that red light flashing and we're all back to normal. Sorted, there we go, rads off. Labourers are in later on, they can carry that down. Pipes are out the wall, uh, so valves are under there, we'll just come off that and then wherever they want that rad along that wall when we come back, maybe even have it down this end or whatever, but we've got to reboard that, skim it over the weekend and then we'll be back next week. So, it's that little job sorted. Right, on to the next one now. Well, that was a little bit interesting, a fire damaged um, top floor room. First one of them I've done. Um, so that's that sorted, we've got that out of the way, sealed off and the pastorists can get on with their thing and do whatever they want to do now. Uh, so I'm just going over to um, a guy I know's house who wants to go through some bathroom ideas with me. So we're just literally just about to pull up to his house now. So let's go and run through this bathroom with him. Right, so we're at this kitchen. Got to connect this, wash it, uh, this fridge under the sink. And if you remember from a video ages ago, I put a link up in the top, that side, that side, one of them, is where we've chopped all that waste pipe and everything down into the back of the uh, 
back of the wall. But we've got basically got to put a filter and whatnot in the fridge uh, in the unit here to feed the fridge over there. So we'll rip the print off the bottom. I'll go and find out where the packaging for it is with the pipe work and stuff and uh, get it threaded through and connected onto, I think I put one in, yeah, washing machine tap here. Right, I pulled the washing machine, uh, what keep saying washing machine, pulled the fridge out and we've got that blue hose there, which connects onto, we've got an extended hose here. So we'll connect this end on there and then bring this white hose under the plinths and bring it up in the under sink unit here. Then we can work from that because we've got to find the filter, get the filter on it and connect it onto that washing machine tap. So we just put that nut, nut onto there. There's no olives. It just literally squeezes onto that nipple and then clamps down with the nut. So we'll pop that on there, tighten it up, fed the rest of that under the floor up into the unit and we can work from there then and get the washing machine, uh, fucking washing machine. Get the fridge back in. It's a fridge, Mark. It's a fridge. So there we go. Got that in here. So now we've got to connect onto there, but we need to find the filter because the filter basically will cut this down, obviously. Filter clips on there and then goes into that valve. So let's try and find this filter then. Right, so you've got the filter. The filter will clip in like so. And then off the top of there, we'll loop it over. And onto the fitting here. There we go, connected in the bottom. Oh, that goes out to the fridge. Into the top. Into here, we're going to clip that around the back and we'll just get it turned on and tested. So, we just come home. So, a little uh, little gift through the post. Look at this. Spot on, look at that. Got to brand it, got to brand everything. No, it's anything different. <laughs> right, I've got this cap through uh, Design by Creative, or Creative by Design, I can't remember which one it is, but I'll put a link below to their Instagram page. Um, I just do loads of stuff like caps and workwear, they do a load of stuff, but I like a cap, but funny enough, I don't like wearing caps at work. So I've just put this on for demonstration purposes, but, I've bought, bought a load of them, so I might wear a couple to work and, and stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to get, get stuff like that, but it's dead good because it's like, you know, like the 3D embroidered stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, not a freebie or anything like that. I have bought it. I know some people, YouTubers, get freebie stuff, but that weren't, I had to pay for that. Um, right, so today we're going over to, it's Wednesday morning, so you'll be watching this tonight. Wednesday uh, evening going over to the house renovation now so I'm going to be based there quite a lot from now on I think because stuff's moved on we'll get over there and we'll see what's going on over there yeah great great start to the morning I opened the side door and the tools fell over must have been that uh, roundabout I took at 300 mile an hour right just got to plumb base picking these rads up now Aids just getting off from the top floor so stick her in the van and get over to uh this house renovation start getting the rads into position and then we can clean up under the floor because all the floors are being uh, polished and that get the rads on into position polish them bits up then we can pipe them up and uh, crack on a bit like that so we've got these loading the van and get over there right so this bathroom is a little bit different now yeah it's lovely so we're gonna have a big full inset mirror here and then we could start soon getting the units on, taps on, obviously showers sorted, put the rise, the rainfall on. That feeds the bath anyway. Get this one all refitted in. Put the towel out to go on here. It's dead tight. And then it's just been and picked them up. We've got the rads on site now. So like these rads are just on the top floor, but like the rads gotta go under this window here. Another rad behind here. And we're just up on the top floor with the chippies. Got one on there. So we're just hanging some of these rads. Um, this is a 400, but what we've got under here, let me just take a step back and you can see, we've only got a short area to get this in. It's an 1800 by 400i. 
So what we've got to do with this one is, we've got to see here, we've got to trim part of this skirting out to get the bracket on in three different places, just to get the, the level underneath the windowsill. So we just notch that out a little bit and then uh, be able to get the brackets in them three positions to get this rad on. So we've got two of these, this one and the one next door to do the same. Right, on this house renovation and just come in, doing the rads and that, and we've got a slight little issue with the tiles. It always seems to be tiles on my job, but I'll take you in. I'll take you in and show, because the tiler, knife, look, pulling his, he ain't got much air. What he ain't got, he's trying to pull out. So, hang on, let me flip it round, I show you. Right, so, what we've got on the, these are white, just normal white tiles. The customer wanted black, black grout. Now we said to them, when they wanted it, there's a chance it could stain the tiles. So anyway, we've put it on, we've done these decorative ones, black grout, wiped it over, absolutely fine. So Tyler's pulled me up and he said, Mark, come and have a look at this. And you can see the, they've put the black grout in, as they always do, not an issue, but you can see where these tiles have pulled the black grout into it. So they, you've they've got popped. Ones up here. But yeah, that's what wiped out fine. Yeah, so that one. That one's wiped out fine, not a problem, but the others have got like a staining in them. Now, Nath and Matty have put sealer on some of them and then grouted it, still doing the same thing. And then they put proper grout stain remover on it and it's just not coming off. It's so, one heavy, we went neat yeah, with went it hardcore well. on I mean, it. You dilute this stuff and it comes off usually, but we've gone in extreme circumstances and gone neat with it. Yeah. Acid cleaner, and it's just not pulling it out of the tile. So we've done everything we can, and what Matty, the other lads, noticed is there's two separate tiles. Now, where are they? Over here. See there. That one. So that one, that one and there. that one are two different, they look the same, but they're slightly different tiles. You can maybe see a slight colour difference in them, mm. but but bought from the same sort of, the company, company have gone, yeah, there you go, they're all the same. This wiped off this one, but this one, it's just pulled the black staining in. So we've had the customer, had the customer out, had the client out, and he's not happy, understandably. So he's going to go speak to Tops Tiles. There you go, named and changer. Tops yeah. Tiles. Um, they're going to take all these tiles off and re grout it, uh, put the new tiles on, re grout it with what's that? Jasmine. Jasmine. Grout. Jasmine, so Jasmine black. grout. I think the black's just got that much dye in it. It's just. Pulling it, the dye straight out and into the tiles. I mean, this, we've tried everything. We spent the day yesterday trying to clean them, and uh, just yeah, out it's not good. Go. It's I mean, Nate's done all my tiling for for years and years, and fair play, he warned them prior to it going in that it can stain, but never seen it stain this bad. But uh, top tiles, bad man as well. Right? Top, they top tiles. In the box saying that they needed sealing or anything like that. So yeah. It's just one of them things, I'm afraid. It's yeah, luckily the customer here is good as gold. He understands things like this, but I just thought I'd show you what it's really like. A bit of real world plumbing. We've now got real world tiling. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get him off. Yeah, so that's a bit of a run through what's going on with these tiles. Um, now for my tiler, he was a bit, you know, he, he, he knows his work, he knows everything's right. He's just a bit concerned, but luckily we had told the client prior to even putting a tile on the wall that black grout can stain, but for some reason these tiles just just crap. So the customers took the couple that we had spare left over, back over to Top Tiles and he's gonna have a word with them because it is just, it's just shocking, really. The way that these tiles have just pulled the black grout in. Um, yet yeah, these ones, the decorative ones that are sealed properly, not cheap these ones, they're fine, absolutely fine. Black grout wiped off mint. Whereas these, because I think they're, no, the tiles said they're probably in 12 quid a square meter or something, so they're not the best tile, but that's not the point. The point is, look how much it's sucked it in. But it's real world, it's real life, and Nath was a bit, oh, I don't really want to, I don't really want you to put it on your channel, but it's what happens, and it gets rectified. So I just wanted to show you again, it's real life, this is exactly what's happening on jobs, so it's what we've got to put up with in the trenches. Right. Get on with some of the rads and about time the cat went on. So what we've had to do then is have router out these blocks from each of the bottom of the rads because the part that 
bracket there is going to sit within that block. So to get it back to the wall where we want it, we've got to do that to each of them. So it's always Andy having Dave the chippy on hand to just route that out. Right, that's it for today. It's just too hot. I've just sort of said, right, I'm shooting off now because I've got all them rads that I've got out here today hung and the rest of the rads are being delivered out tomorrow. I'm sweating like a pig because I don't want to turn the air con on because it would sound too bad on the video. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and I shall catch you soon. Laters.